Hello, my Ultra. It's me, Adlan. Now, yes, this is going to be another episode with with the giant map. But this one is about a current situation in Haiti. Now, here's a bit of history. Haiti has always been a miserable shithole. Okay, from what I've from what I've learned from Napoleon, you know the articles about him. People keep on saying that Napoleon Bonaparte was the sole reason why Haiti is such a shithole to this day and how because of Napoleon, Haiti has yet to recover. But here's the thing I have to say, Haiti has, has always been a shithole. <coughs> you see, right here, Haiti, right next to the Dominican Republic, has, has was once a slave colony of the French monarchy. Under King Louis one two, uh, there's there's been a lot of King Louis. But from what I have understood, as long as for as long as there's been a King Louis in France as their monarch, Haiti has always been a shithole. Again, Napoleon <coughs> took power, reinstated slavery. But before then, Maximilien Robespierre ended slavery in Haiti. No, gee. Why isn't that such a swell guy, huh? Massimilian Robespierre, man, what, what a swell guy. I hope there wasn't like, I don't know, 70,000 70, other reasons why nobody would like him. <coughs> but then, Massimilian Robespierre ended slavery, but then he, he died guilty because he killed how many people? Let's do a recap. 70,000 people that did nothing wrong. And then when Napoleon took power, he reinstated slavery. Not because he was racist, but because of, pu of purely economical reasons. Because here is a little... Uh, here's a little secret, boys and girls. Everyone, everywhere, used slavery at one point in time. So, so it wasn't just a North American thing. Everyone used slavery because of purely economical reasons. <coughs> But then when Napoleon had to abdicate in 1814 because, you know, France was surrounded on, on all fronts, he had to go to Elba for like a few months because then in, in 1815 he returned to France and then he was defeated at Waterloo by the Prussians right here and then the English over here at Waterloo. Then he, then he had to go to St. Helena. But all the while, Haiti still a shithole. Then, when Napoleon died in 1824 or 1823, he, it, it was still a shithole. And even when the Bourbons came back into power in France, Haiti still a shithole. And then, the, then more revolutions, more monarchy restorations, more republics, more empires, they be fucking Duda. Haiti still a shithole. World War One, World War Two, Haiti still shithole. During the Cold War, Haiti still shithole. Even now, during the twenty first century, Haiti has yet to recover from anything. And no, Napoleon had nothing to do with it. Because Napoleon has been dead for almost two hundred years now. And yet Haiti is still shithole, okay? Haiti Haiti is similar to Cleveland, Ohio, for example, where they've always been miserable shitholes, and no matter how many times you try to fix it, it will always get worse. So Haiti is bad. It has always been bad. So I don't know why people keep blaming Napoleon for this, even though it's it always been terrible. And one last thing, anyone who wears a, you, you have to be ignorant, to think Haiti is a shithole shirts, go to Haiti and wear those. Because from what I've heard, you will be quite a snack. Okay? Now, the message of this, Haiti is just one of those places you can never fit. It's like Portland, Ohio. It's like Portland over here. You can't fix it. It's always going to be a miserable shithole no matter how many times you try to vote people in.